Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Berkeley International Office web series. So my name is Heidi Church and I'm an international student advisor here. And today's episode is going to be all about housing. Uh, so whether you're a new freshman international student who's moving away from home for the first time, or a, you're a new transfer or graduate student, deciding on where to live is a big and sometimes overwhelming decision to make. So hopefully today's episode will help answer some of your burning questions um, and help direct you towards some resources that will be helpful to you in making your decision. Up first, you'll see some clips from my interview with Zha Yin, who's a third year student uh, who has lived both in the on-campus residence halls as well as off-campus in an apartment. And then you'll also hear some tips and advice on the off-campus housing search uh, from Matt Laura, who's a bio advisor. Uh, so take a look. Hi, uh, my name is Zhe Ying. Uh, I'm from China. I'm a third year here, and I study uh, molecular cell biology and psychology. I lived in uh, Unit 3 for my first year. Uh, Unit 3 is really close by, um, five minutes from Donau and the campus, and um, it's pretty safe. There is a security monitor um, on the uh, on the first floor and then controlling who goes into the building. So, and um, I, I also like it because it's really um, comfortable and you have um, janitors cleaning for you and then, um, and then you get to live with um, different people on your same floor and I interact with them. There are also a lot of activities going around. Oh yeah, sometimes like movie nights and then also you have like academic center downstairs so you can print, you can study, you can use their computer. I lived in the uh, uh, Unity theme program. It ta major, uh, mainly talks about um, sexuality and um, LGBTQ community and I um, signed up for the program because I wanted to know more about the diversity going on here. I think it's a really good experience for students who want to um, get to know some communities here um, or just to discover what communities you belong um, or even just to get to know your uh, floor mates better because you have meetings every week. One thing I kind of regret about living in the dorm was I ate too much. <laughs> uh, so it, living in Unit 3, you have uh, Cafe 3 downstairs. So, and it's so close by, even if you just get out of class and then uh, you want to eat somewhere. Um, and then it's all buffet style, so all you want, you can eat. And um, so I think that was the drawback. You probably have heard about Freshman 15, and that's true, I think. If you can resist the temptation of eating a lot in a buffet-style uh, dining hall. I didn't expect it to be that small. <laughs> I lived in a triple, uh, and uh, it was really small. And it's pretty difficult to, if you have a lot of stuff, to organize them and then put them uh, in that small sm space. And I was surprised on how different each floors can be. Some floors make good, like floor mates, um, make good friends with each other, but others they don't even talk to each other. So I think um, that's what surprised me. And if you want to find a good experience living in the dorm, uh, you probably have to either be lucky or make a good effort. I think it just depends what you want. Uh, the residential hall is a really good place to get to know people. I think um, it's pretty good for, uh, for you to just to go through the transition um, and then find some place where you get uh, like a lot of people taking care of you and then meet a lot of people and then establish some um, good relationship with other people and then, and then you can just look for um, off-campus options or other option, on-campus options afterwards with people you already know. I think my only advice is uh, for you is just to make decisions early uh, so you can uh, really plan ahead and uh, um, get what you actually want. So there are three kind of main neighborhoods on campus, uh, um, in Berkeley, uh, Northside, Westside, and Southside. 
North, west side is mainly the downtown area. Um, it's you have you get access to a lot of the food uh, restaurants, and it's easy to take the uh, the buses around to go to San Francisco, for example. And um, there's also the south side. Uh, most people live on the south side uh, because uh, the dorms are there, and then there are a lot of restaurants over there too, and a lot of activities goes on there. There's the Sundays, Telegraph, Market, and, and then a lot of their friends live on the south side, so a lot of people tend to choose to live on the south side. And also, south side is where the, um, the uh, fraternities and sororities are, houses are. So uh, if you are into party, um, it might be a good place for you. Uh, I live on the north side. Uh, it's more quiet, it's quieter. Um, there aren't a lot of um, like commercial areas on the north side. So um, if you want to buy things, you can go to Shattuck. Uh, otherwise, it's just residential area. And then if you want to get food, you have to go to Shattuck too. So um, that might be a disadvantage of living on the north side. Uh, and it gets boring for some people. But I personally like living there because uh, it's just safe and quiet. It's a good place to study and it's cleaner. Uh, one of the reasons I chose off-campus uh, housing is um, I get the I get a kitchen, so I can cook for myself, and then um, and it's just a really nice space for you and your friends to live together. So uh, websites or resources, I guess I would start with the you know. Um, bio, you know, the Berkeley International Office uh, housing website. We have a lot of good links on there. We link to um, a webinar that, you know, we, we did earlier this semester talking about this particular issue in much more detail. But also we have links to uh, Cal Rentals. Craigslist is the most standard website for students to use when they're looking for off-campus housing. Um, but you have to be careful because Craigslist can have a lot of scams, a lot of dishonest people on it. So, you know, um, always be mindful of that. And there are roommate finders. So for example, Cal Rentals and um, the Berkeley International Office on their websites have roommate finder uh, options. So um, you can use these websites to, you know, find out about other people who are also looking for an apartment and you can kind of connect with them. Uh, so what pointers would you give for students that are considering living off campus? So uh, my first tip would be to start looking for housing as soon as possible, um, especially if you're looking in the fall. Be you know mindful of the fact that a lot of other people are as well. Thousands of students are going to be starting in the fall, so the sooner you can start looking for an apartment, the better. The other pointers I would give are be careful for scams, especially if you're in another country and you're looking on Craigslist or you're looking on... Um, the internet and you're, you're you know you're seeing these places uh, and they want you to pay up front um, be very careful in the situation if you can arrive early and and look around for an apartment when you arrive I think a lot of students have reported success in that situation you know arriving two weeks early staying in an Airbnb or a hotel or a hostel and kind of like while they're here looking for an apartment at that time. And I think my final tip would be if you're planning on living alone, I would recommend being very flexible because finding a studio or a one bedroom apartment, it's not only difficult, but it's also very expensive. So just kind of be realistic with your expectations. <music>